Hello, my name is Anne, and uh, yet just yesterday, Nova Launcher has just released the first beta of Nova Launcher 6.0. And uh, today, uh, I'm going to walk you through some of the new features that Nova Launcher's um, 6.0 beta 1 has in store for us. So, um, yeah, um, this is a pretty small release. Uh, it's the first beta even, so there are still a lot, of, a lot of features that has not been pushed out yet. Um, but with beta 1, there's already been a lot, so let's take a look at it real quick. Right, so let's jump uh, quick into the first thing that you gotta come into, you gotta caught your eyes, you gotta catch your eyes uh, every time you kind of set this thing up. And um, that is the quick start. So this is going to be a new quick start uh, screen, quick start guide for um, uh, Nova Launcher 6.0. And it's been revamped, so you can see that we can, you know, again, we still have the regular layout uh, options like start afresh, uh, restore from another backup, browse, or you can uh, import the layout from other launchers, like let's say TouchWiz or Launcher 3. So, all right, so let's, you know, put next. Um, Again, we have to have the uh, theme options here, like dark, but we also have the auto, which is to you know change the light when it's sun sunlight, and dark when it's nighttime, something like that. Uh, pretty cool. And the next is still again the draw start the draw style swipe up or dark icon, still the same. And then once that done, we in the home screen. All right, so. It's not a lot of change actually, and I've you know gone through all the new features there's um, uh, to expect, and it's, there's not a lot. Uh, and in fact, uh, the biggest change has to be inside the settings. So let me go to Nova Settings, and uh, as you can see, the there's no dock options anymore. You can see that this uh, does not have any uh, option called dock because it has been integrated right into in the desktop menu. And the overall uh, settings, you know, menu itself seems a little more enhanced. Like I say, you have the icons, uh, the, the uh, description for each of them, uh, scrolling, something like that. They've all been revamped and you know, change the grid. You can see that there's a bit of a difference there. Uh, change the grid or something like that. And uh, uh, one thing that you kind of notice inside Nova settings is that you can actually search. So if you search here, you can actually search for all of the settings, the menus, the options inside uh, the Nova settings app itself. So let's say you want to say desktop. To get, you know, go right to desktop grid. I will highlight highlight it for you, stuff like that. Um, and so the the next change has got to be the adaptive icons. So we still have the uh, same usual adaptive icon style, like round, circle, rounded square, square, and teardrop, just like on Android O. But there is a customized menu, so you can change. The uh, um, you know, say the edges. Let's say you want to set some squiggles, some crop. You want to uh, change how uh, much you want to crop this thing. Uh, the round, how much you want to ground this thing. There's a lot, a lot of options. You know, from left, right, bottom, left, bottom, right. Change the uh, packs, um, the shape to crop, round, or circle. There's a lot of options in here. All right, and this is you know, change, edit it. Whatever you want, this is still a uh, customizable um, adaptive icons. Um, other than that, we still have nothing, right? So let's go out. So um, the next thing is uh, if you are not a uh, Nova Prime user, which in this case I'm not. I'm I'm still a Prime member right now. But if you don't have the Prime uh, version of this app, uh. You at least have some options. For example, in icon layouts, you can resize, you can resize the icon without having to be a prime member, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, they do kind of point out in the description that uh, you should probably buy it anyways, right? You should probably buy it. Um, I actually did 
but buy this when it was in sale was in uh, Sarah for around some less than 50 cents so it was very bargain and I bought it uh, uh, in event of that um, so that's it um, yeah that's actually there's a lot of them um, let's talk about the folders right let's talk about the folders uh, it's been there are a lot of more options. First of all, you, they, you can actually round the corners of the, of the folders, which is pretty cool. Here's the immersive, right? So you can actually have a um, uh, option to change to immersive or window mode, even if you want to call it. And of course, you can change the uh, transparency, the translucency of this thing, uh, just like that. And of course, this, since this thing has Around the corners, you can change the radius. And your pack city up to the corners. How much you want to make? It, how much do you want to it to be cornered? Where you want to choose it? So um um yeah. So that's basically it. There's really not a lot of changes underneath the hood. Uh, this is beta one, so you some sort of expect to uh, see some more features with beta two, beta three, and um and more importantly, the official version. Now I want to talk a little bit about the labs. The labs they ha they haven't changed. Um, there are some options that have been uh, you know uh, omitted out of the labs. Some disappeared. Some just went to the, the official. Um, the weather and search bar is still a labs feature. I don't know why. Uh, it's still working pretty well for me. So there's no uh, problem there. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for beta one of No Launcher Six Um So if you want me to do any more videos about Nova Launcher, or about launchers or Android in general, uh, just comment down below, and I will um, do your favors. And if you find this video useful, uh, click the like button down below and subscribe for future videos. Also share a, a video, this video, and also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and. Instagram. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.